Yo guys, in today's video we are comparing DJI FPV drone versus a normal FPV drone. We're gonna talk about what we like, what not, how do they fly, how do they compare between each other. Today with me is Dominic, co-founder of 7-Day FPV program, which we created for beginners who would like to learn how to fly FPV. Link is below. So yeah, Dominic, would you like to introduce yourself to our audience? Sure thing. My name is Dominic Chapon. I'm a filmmaker just like Tom. We've been working together on various projects for the last two years and I believe today we got some questions about FPV drones, right? Lots of them. So, yeah. so let's start with the first one. How does it fly? Uh, uh, well, it's a complicated question. Uh, let, let's, let's separate it to maybe freestyle, cinematic FPV and long range. Uh, if we start with freestyle and if we compare it to the Nazgul, which is a very popular, popular freestyle drone, well, this one flies much better. That's just the reality. But on the, on the other hand, this one is not bad. But where I see the biggest problem is that I don't feel so confident when doing speed yeah. test diving and trying to hit a small gap because the drone is going all over the place. I uh, know uh, did you? Yeah, like... it's got it's got a lot of prop wash, and when you go sideways, it it just drifts around. So it's not as precise. You don't have so much control, and I feel like you also don't have so much power on the throttle I've, I mean no and I tried to do the power loop I went like full throttle and it didn't go anywhere yeah and it's also sketchy when you're doing like a dive and want to catch the drone just below the ground it's really hard to do it precisely. Like with the prop wash it yeah. happens you don't feel so confident to approach the subject you know yeah. you know what I'm trying to mean uh, to say so for proximity flying, it's okay if you're just like cruising behind a subject, but if you want to like really dive full speed, 100 kilometers per hour and like stop behind him, it's gonna be sketchy. Obviously we're comparing it with the best, which is a freestyle FPV drone. Uh, and even by design, you see that this one is, is smaller and therefore much more agile. I, I'm not the biggest fan of this design, uh, but that being said, it doesn't fly bad. So for a beginner who has absolutely no experience with FPV, this is a great entry point and in my opinion the best beginner FPV drone on the market right now. But if you're gonna get serious about the FPV, you will eventually change ships and go uh, with... Nice goal or something like, like yeah, that. Yeah, with the FPV quad, yeah. Next question that we got was, uh, yeah. What's the range? So how far can you fly? What's the image quality in the goggles? Like we did some nice long range yeah. today. A few kilometers, like two, three, two, two kilometers something it was, like yeah. that. Two yeah. kilometers it was. And uh, the image quality was actually pretty nice. I think the image quality is even better than with the air unit. You, you get a more crisper image, you know. Lots of detail. And yeah, yeah, lots of detail. Even the range and uh, like two kilometers away, the image quality was the same as uh, when I was 50 meters away. So that was not a problem. Yeah, yeah, no problem uh, with that. Uh, I even tested like going uh, behind the car here and I was flying behind me. So not the best reception. And I still got a pretty nice image, even like 60 meters, uh, 600 meters away. No problem. So yeah, you're with facing with the antennas forward, but you flew like behind you, not turning the head, and no I mean the the omni antennas are obviously working yeah, yeah. really really well. But there's another thing: you only have one single camera on this drone. So what do you think about that, Tom? Not the biggest fan, because think about it: if if you're using the same camera for like viewing the image in your goggles and recording and you set the exposure to manual, what happens if, let's say, you're outside on a, flying on a sunny, bright day, and then you want to do a dive in a bando, in a dark room, and suddenly you, you like come from super bright in a super dark environment. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you will see, see uh, <laughs> literally. Even if the auto exposure works perfectly, it's not good for the final video, because, you know, exposure changes. It doesn't look changes. professional. It just doesn't it's, look it's, professional. It's not so. that good. So, would you strap a GoPro on it? In terms of recording high quality video, yes. In terms of aerodynamics. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, what, what do you think about the image quality? Like, would you use DJI FPV for professional shoot? Why I mean, yes, why no? Uh, in some cases, yes. If it's like a, a bright sunny day, if, if the exposure is perfectly, if the exposure is perfect. Uh, but if you want to do 
um, a really stabilized video like with real steady you won't get that here it's uh, it's a pretty good stabilization like system. hyper smooth yeah yeah, yeah it's some, like that. something like hyper smooth so it is smooth but not as good not as real buttery steady. smooth like yeah. real steady wins by far if you want yeah. that really really smooth footage so next question ease of use tom you said that this drone is best for beginners why super easy to use i mean i'm the biggest fan of these batteries i wish the normal fpv drone had just like unplug plug back in bam you're ready to go even charging these batteries is super simple because learning how to how to properly charge and, and maintain voltages and especially everything. maintain you yeah. don't want to burn your house with the, with the normal fpv lipo batteries uh, check this uh, tutorial by the way to learn more about that i mean you have it's it's kind of headache especially at the beginning if you have no idea about how to start and it may be dangerous but this is super simple even if these batteries are charged and you're not gonna fly for a few days can just leave them yeah. and they will no di problem. discharge the storage yeah. voltage yeah. So automatically. In terms of that, uh, great and it can hover by itself, meaning it's very safe. You got three different modes and, and I'm sure you watched the, a ton of tutorials about that. So and return to home, right? To that's, repetitive that's... return to home is huge, uh, especially if you fly behind the mountain accidentally, it will return home safely. I mean, you got GPS re rescue with the normal FPV, but it's not... It's not as reliable. It's not. Yeah. This one is really, really good. GPS works great. And it's fast. I went 130, 140 kilometers per hour uh, when diving down full speed. So what do you think about the motion controller? The motion controller is a marketing gimmick. Yeah. Um, it's very intuitive. It's like easy to use. Uh, you don't need special instructions you just pick it up turn it on and then you just move your hand so regarding that yeah it's good but regarding the actual flying you cannot be as precise you drift around it, it's not as responsive you, you get much more control with a normal controller so yeah this this version not very useful maybe the next maybe one. Maybe to, to just try it out for a couple of fun flights yeah just to try something different but in terms of practicality it's eh. more for fun okay next question flight time <laughs> they advertise 20 minutes in reality with free stuff flying we got what 11 12 12 minutes something like that yeah it was a little bit more when we went long range and just cruised yeah, around when, 50 60, yeah. 60 kilometers per hour we got 15 minutes almost 15 minutes then but but when you're doing some power loops or some action it's like it drops to 12 minutes at max something like, like that. that yeah but still 12 minutes of fpv yeah that's insane with this one with uh, 6S batteries, 1,400 milliampere hours, yeah, you like get what? 5-6 five five minutes. minutes? Yeah, 5 to 6. So, yeah. so yeah, that's double. A, a point to the DJI FPV here. To close it up, our final thoughts for DJI FPV, is it worth it? For a beginner, someone who is not yet in the FPV world, yes, absolutely the best beginner drone on the market right now, in our opinion. But, but if you, get if you it? want to, you know, be professional with it and have it for projects, then and if you already have this one, yeah, no. then it's a no-brainer. If you have any more questions regarding DJI FPV, comment below this video and we will answer them. Thank and you for being here with us. See you in the next one. See ya.